Hey everyone, welcome to Paint the Kitchen Red where I share tips and recipes from all over the world. I'm Nina and today I'm going to be showing you how to make jambalaya in the Instant Pot. Jambalaya is a rice and meat recipe from Louisiana and my recipe has chicken, shrimp, and sausage and it's truly a meal in one. The recipe is adapted from this tiny little cookbook that I have in my possession for years and I don't even know where I got this recipe book. I think it was a long ago trip to New Orleans, but this recipe is a stovetop recipe and once I adapted it to the Instant Pot, I haven't gone back. Uh, the Instant Pot is just more convenient and very consistent every single time. The rice is done perfectly, everything's cooked just right. So I think this is a recipe that you're gonna like and it's gonna become part of your regular meal rotation. So let's get started. So here are the ingredients you're gonna need for the jambalaya. One pound of uncooked shrimp, peeled and deveined, 12 ounces of andouille sausage cut into half inch slices. If you can't find andouille, you can use Spanish chorizo or kielbasa, but just make sure you use a smoked sausage and not a raw sausage. 12 ounces of boneless skinless chicken thighs cut into about one inch to one and a half inch pieces. One and a half cups of long grain white rice. One cup of chopped bell pepper one can of diced tomatoes, about 14 and a half ounces, one cup of chopped onion, one cup chopped celery, one tablespoon minced garlic, one teaspoon dried thyme, one tablespoon vegetable oil, two tablespoons chopped parsley to garnish at the end, two small bay leaves, or if you have large ones, one large bay leaf, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon Cajun or Creole seasoning. I tend to use Creole seasoning and the brand that I use is Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, but you can use any brand that you like. But just keep in mind that the saltiness of your seasoning will affect the quantity of salt that you'll need to add in addition to the seasoning. Uh, half teaspoon of salt or to taste, you may not need any extra salt. Two cups of chicken broth or homemade Instant Pot shrimp stock. I have a recipe for that on my blog and I'll put the link to it in the notes. It's a great uh, recipe that's just so easy to make. You just take the shrimp shells and pressure cook them. And um, the flavor that that stock adds is really quite great. And so if you get a chance to try it out, please do so. Now there are a couple of things I haven't mentioned in this picture. One is shallots and the other is hot sauce. I like to add sliced shallots that are raw at the end with the parsley. And uh, if you don't like the taste of shallots, you can just leave them out. And the hot sauce is for those people who like spicy. So we're gonna take our Creole seasoning, about a teaspoon or so, and sprinkle it on the shrimp and rub it in. Uh, now this uh, recipe has an unusual way of cooking the shrimp. Uh, we leave the shrimp raw and then add it at the end once the rice is cooked. And then we put it in and close the Instant Pot lid and let it cook in the residual heat of the rice. And that makes the shrimp perfectly cooked. So turn on the saute function of your Instant Pot. I happen to have the Ultra model. And once your Instant Pot is hot, at that point you're ready to add the oil. Add the oil and let it heat up in saute mode until it's really hot. Once the oil is heated up, you add sausage and saute the sausage until the sausage is nicely browned. It might take a few minutes, so just be patient. If you find that the sausage is sticking to the bottom of the inner pot, just deglaze with a tablespoon or two of broth or water. And once the sausage is nicely browned, you can remove it uh, from the inner pot using a slotted spoon and transfer the sausage to a bowl and set it aside until we're ready to use it. So now that we've cooked the sausage, we're going to add chicken 
into the inner pot and uh, you just want to remove the pinkness of the chicken so it's going to be pretty quick if you find that the chicken is sticking to the bottom you can deglaze with a few uh, tablespoons of broth or uh, water but uh, a lot of times it's just uh, it's a matter of a few seconds once the chicken uh, starts browning on the bottom it just kind of dislodges itself from the bottom of the inner pot so you'll also notice that the chicken releases some of its own juices that work to deglaze the inner pot so some of those brown bits get incorporated into the chicken once the chicken has cooked uh, to the point where it's not pink anymore you're gonna remove it from the inner pot using a slotted spoon transfer the chicken to the same bowl that you transferred the sausage to and we're going to set both aside until we're ready to add them back into the inner pot right before we begin pressure cooking add the onions celery bell peppers and finally garlic stir everything together you'll notice that uh, the vegetables at some point will begin to release their own liquid and that kind of deglazes the inner pot and some of those brown bits get incorporated into the vegetables you just want to cook the vegetables until the onions are translucent at that point you're ready to add the broth to deglaze the inner pot and make sure that there are no brown bits stuck to the bottom of the inner pot when you're ready to add the spices so we add the thyme salt creole seasoning or cajun seasoning and worcestershire sauce and we're going to stir everything together until the spices are aromatic just for a few seconds like about 30 seconds or so and at that point you can press cancel and shut off the instant pot now you're going to add the broth the bay leaves tomatoes the chicken and the sausage that we had set aside and finally the rice long grain white rice and at this point you don't want to stir everything up you're just going to push down on the rice so that it's submerged into the liquid and this will help you avoid the burn message which some instant pots are prone to have so we'll just eliminate that problem by not stirring the rice in now we're going to close the lid and pressure cook the jambalaya for about seven minutes on high pressure your float valve will come up and your instant pot will be pressurized and once the cooking is complete the instant pot will beep and your timer will go down to zero at this point it's time to release the pressure using the quick release method once the float valve goes down you can open the lid and add the shrimp now what I'm doing here is I'm not going to pressure cook the shrimp I'm actually going to allow the shrimp to cook in the residual heat of the rice so you don't want to take too long to do this because it'll allow too much heat to escape but you also want to be careful so carefully cover the shrimp with the rice it doesn't have to be perfect just do the best you can and once you've done that you cover the instant pot with the lid and if you have trouble closing the lid just put the steam release in the venting position when you close it and then put it back in sealing once it's closed now we're going to let that shrimp sit in the instant pot for about 10 minutes and then open the instant pot and the shrimp has been cooked and it always cooks perfectly when i make it this way and if you have bigger shrimp like jumbo jumbo shrimp or extra large shrimp then you may want to increase the amount of time you allow it to sit in the instant pot maybe another extra five minutes or so and now we're going to garnish the jambalaya with some parsley and if you're using them you can use the sliced shallots 
Well, I hope you've been inspired to try out Instant Pot Jambalaya. It's a recipe I have a feeling you'll be making again and again. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time.